There is something to be said when elegance just meets beauty, power, and overall aesthetics. The Propel Sigma screams elegant design, and the features and functionality of this board go beyond just e-skating and incorporate your actual daily life. In the world of short boards and testing and living with it on an everyday lifestyle, we are going to go ahead and get our package delivered, run our bank errands, and showcase this board in the everyday lifestyle. Let's go ahead and do this. You. Check out the Propel Sigma. Bye, Mike. <laughs> There is a lot to love about this board. There's also some quirks that uh, have been worked out since we've released the Sigma. But again, a lot more to love than not. So let's go ahead and enjoy the ride. wheels here this actual formula that propel has designed themselves and it's very grippy very squishy and eats up the bumps pretty well can't complain about that at all uh, carb wise it just holds the road in every aspect so it definitely feels really nice as far as grip goes that's S2P, the Samsung 50 SLs, I believe they're inside of here as well too. Gives you a great discharge rate and range. On top of that, also, their brand new ProFoc ESC, so we'll dive into all of that as well too. Let's start off with the deck here. It is a T700 carbon fiber deck. Beautiful, absolutely exquisite as far as I'm concerned. That beautiful Propel logo underneath there and the Sigma up top there. It's, it's a really nice standout feature. And the other thing it has is this built-in ambient deck light up top. Controllable through the palm remote, which we'll dive into further. And uh, it's, it's just a really nice feature in that sense. Or the deck and the lighting, eh, we'll, we'll get into that as well too. But G700, super durable, up to 330 pounds, and have a functional kicktail. The super subtle kicktail kicks up perfectly, that cups your foot and actually gives you a very nice standing platform. At nine and a half inches wide by 33 inches long, it's a very nice stable platform. No concave, nothing was on that way. A very, very subtle little lip around the edge there that holds these ambient light inside of there. Speaking of the ambient light, it has a multitude of different options available through the Palm remote. So you can go ahead and select, you know, different styles as far as breathing, always on, flashing, or this rainbow style that you have inside there as well too. And it's bright enough that if you're looking at it from above down, it's great, but in direct sunlight, it's not noticeable at all. And at nighttime, it's really reflecting up towards you. So you, it's not shining on the ground. Scott D did mention this in his video, and I kind of agree with him on that sense as well too, is that I wish it was more maybe just on the ground so it illuminates the ground around you. That's a little bit more noticeable in my sense, but it is so nice and finite that you know it's there, but with a subtle touch, and it's very beautiful when, it, when it's lit up. Super 
RV. Um, almost to a fault, I had to tighten the bushings up. And uh, if you haven't yet, check out Scott's video where he actually went and swapped the bushings out, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Uh, it seems that like with Propel's systems that they've been putting out is that the uh, bushings have been soft for my weight and riding style. So I've either had to tighten them down or swap them out completely with a grip tie situation. So just easy fix, you know, completely personal choice in that sense. But again, 220 pounds, 100 kilo rider, six foot. And uh, on this board, I had to tighten it down just to get that rear kind of dialed in there a little bit more. But it feels good now. And it's so buttery. These are Propel's brand new reverse kingpin CNC arc trucks. Very nice, smooth, great design, obviously incredibly detailed in that sense, and uh, just a really nice feeling overall. Another really important feature that they actually have designed is the trucks to be able to be kick pushed up, and they've CNC'd out a place for you to grab that front truck, so easily just grab and go, very nice touch. Here I am just showcasing the overall wah-paw factor that this board does provide. These 88mm grip wheels, they are very nicely done and the ride style of the board puts you up high almost like a surf skate style would on any other typical board. And that pivot point that's inside of there just gives you a nice balance of back and forth wah-paw carviness. So nimble at low speeds, high speeds it locks up and gives you up to 31 miles per hour of speed which is just bonkers to think about at this style board but it's a lot of fun. being able to kick push this board up and be able to carry it underneath your hand like that or with the gorgeous carbon fiber on the bottom here they've wrapped it around and actually did a specific design so that you can grab onto this deck without having to grab the grip tape making it easier on your fingers you're not getting that rough patch on your hand and it, it definitely feels great at 8.9 kilos it is a very lightweight board for a 13 s2p again this is over 400 something watt hours of battery power in here so it definitely packs a lot of batteries inside of a small form factor. But here's the best part about this actual um, skateboard is that it fits into your everyday life way more than you actually can think it would. And uh, I, need, I need this, this. And it's just, it's insane how this fits into your life. The Sigma comes with a USB-C fast charger built into the front truck and how you activate it is by tapping on the front truck and that turns on the power so it's not an always on feature so you don't have to worry about it constantly draining your battery but you tap it on the front truck there and it turns on after about a about a five to ten second delay if nothing is plugged into it it turns back off so you don't have to worry about this again constantly being powered on uh, to drain your battery but what a unique feature that if you are stranded your remote's dying your cell phone's dying even my drone i charged off of this thing where i realized i was out filming and my drone was dying i was able to plug this in and get a few extra minutes of charge time on this thing which was awesome a fast charger built into your skateboard very unique again elegant feature which is the overall word i'm going to use with this board one other beautiful touch is the power button here on the rear but also this beautiful cnc esc cover that's hidden right below the motors on the back here it's just cuts out it matches the carbon fiber but it allows for maximum cooling airflow inside there as well too so they thought about everything so not only is that beautiful charge port also available for your USB-C type up here. It's also, this right here is your port to charge your board as well too. And it's actually magnetically held in place. So when you push it in there, it really is kind of hard to get it back out, but super nice, super awesome. Nice clean design. I mean, that's the, the whole point of this board, it's super clean design. This is the Palm Remote, a brand new remote system that they released with this board and is going to be coming in future iteration boards as well too, but it is the size of your car key. It's got a beautiful screen on here and you can see that the full control of voltage readout, it's absolutely beautiful. So double click on the power button here and it turns on the LED mode. I have it to the rainbow setting here, double click, it turns off. 
And again, this is inside. It's bright enough, like, but direct sunlight during the day, you still can't see it. But you can see the beautiful animations for braking on there, along with as you're accelerating, you can see the throttle responses where it too. It overall is just a really nice, beautifully smooth remote. And I love it because you can obviously use it ambidextrous. I wish that this was implemented in more style remotes. It's definitely a lot of fun. Here is the menu breakdown. We can go through and control everything inside of the actual remote settings. And then you go back and that's it. So with the Palm remote is one of the most interesting remote designs I've seen. And personally, probably one of my favorite designs from any of the manufacturers right now. Reason being is that like, I love the Hoyt puck system. I know the reliability and all that jazz, but there's no display, no screen, no nothing on those things. So having that ability to have something that's this size, like a key from your key fob or your car in your palm, being able to nice, it's smooth. Everything about it is just easy to use. It's a beautiful design. All of your information is displayed on there. Nice leather wrist strap, perfect in that sense. And I truly think that this is a really good piece of tech to go with this Sigma design. Obviously this board screams, Elegant design, it's got the carbon fiber, the lights, the, the tail light, the USB-C, you know, charging station side there. There's just a ton of different options available on here. Speaking of which, the Profoc ESC is their brand new ESC. It is so buttery smooth. The power is incredibly linear. It's very easy. There's no jerkiness coming off the line. There's no dead band in that situation. And braking is equally as powerful and strong and smooth as well too. So. I would say that Propel has really taken a turn here and started going in a different direction with their boards. They feel like they always really kind of have that cutting edge design. Sometimes it's hit, sometimes it's miss. And uh, I feel like they really did hit it with this one. So I definitely can recommend this one. And for the price right now, I believe it's like $799 for this board, which is also absurd if you check out the website. Also, there's a link down there in the description discount code as well too that helps me directly it's an affiliate link but also gives you a kickback as well too you should always use someone's affiliate link out there but uh definitely recommend this one so let's just recap what this board is all about the propel sigma is a next evolution from the team there that is just screaming elegant design and overall very visually aesthetic pleasing performance is there 31 miles per hour top speed 31 miles on a charge with their fast charging system available as well too you can really get up and go wherever you want again premium product here nice large motors 13s 2p samsung 50s over 400 watt hours of power with their brand new profoc esc and the palm remote this thing just is a very good from the ground up build i really tip my hat to propel for stepping outside the realm and being able to create something that's this beautiful with the performance and everything as well inside of it what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Is this something that you're interested in? Are you a Propel fan that this is something you'd pick up? I mean, for $799, it is a very good value with the amount of features and premium features you're getting with this board. Is this something that you would have inside your quiver that you would use for a daily transport? The USB-C fast charging, is that something that's uh, interesting or just kind of gimmicky? I mean, leave the comments down below. Remember, always thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't yet, check out the other videos I have going on the channel here. And as always, remember, wear your helmet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.